Hello, well, part two. I've already had to bleep it. Brilliant. Welcome to part two of the vlog. This is going to cover Saturday and Sunday here at the Nürburgring for the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. I'm on brand, finally. I had to pay for it. But I'm on brand. And we're with this lovely, wonderful human being thing. I want to sleep. He's very happy this morning. Very, very happy. He's having a great day. <laughs> also, if you haven't watched part one, you need to go and watch it because that covered Thursday and Friday. <coughs> Brilliant. So I've just filmed that lovely shot of the tower, then done a very sharp U-turn because I'm just going to go and drop my bag off at the OB van. If you haven't already seen, I'm in a truck over this far end of the circuit this morning. Not just this morning, this weekend. Can't quite get the words together today. I feel a little bit tired. We have the heaviest night coming up though. So it's only going to get heavier. The state of me tomorrow is not going to be fantastic. But we keep it professional. So yeah, I'm just going to go and drop my bag off and then we'll have a little wander around the paddock, shall we? Terry Gibbon and John Newell had a good chin wag with them. The sun's come out, which is nice, but now they're going to go out for warm up. So I'm going to go get me other camera and we're going to go stand in the pit lane and have some fun. One of the funniest things I've just realised as well, this happens quite a bit on my walk back up here. Um, every time I see somebody that's, that I know, that's in a group of about three other people and I sort of walk past them and go, hi, you're right. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you. And then they look at me and the other people that they're with are like, who the f was that? And then I always hear the phrase, English and commentator, uh, English and commentator, <laughs> because they're explaining what I do. It's dead funny. And they're like, oh, it's him, yeah, it's him. Right, let's go into pit lane and have a good time, shall we? Let's crack on.
paddock is a lot busier today. There's a lot of people there, which is great to see. Just had a uh, catch up with Barbara over everything that's coming up for today. Uh, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to get on the Corona trailer for the driver's parade, I don't think, because the stream starts pretty much just as that thing goes out on track. So I think I'm just going to be sat in my commentary position from the very start, but that's fine. It's part of the job. Sometimes you can't always be involved in all of it on camera. Although my phone's just gone now and that might be them. Um, I'm on a bit of a mission though, because I'm going to head to the other paddock to go and see the British drivers from Reed's team and see them lot. They were in the cockpit bar with us last night and we had a good, good laugh. Uh, yes, Andreas has said to stay in my commentary position, so I'm not going on the Corona trailer. That's fine. Uh, but I've actually got a little gift. I've got a lanyard, one of the spare Goodyear lanyards for my mate Paul, who's uh, with the Reeds this weekend. He wanted a little memento from the weekend and I said to him I'd try and get one, so I'm going to try and uh, give back down there. There's also some mint trucks down there that I need to fill this weekend. Uh, Robin Kroytoff's here from the Dutch Truck Racing Championship and he's in a Scania T-cab. He's known as the Rainbow Warrior in this thing and it's absolutely awesome because it's got a big rainbow on it. And it's a big bright blue Scania, it looks so, so cool. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll head down there in a bit and have a look once we've done the, uh, the first race stream of the day. And this is going to sound really ungrateful, but this is the problem with having such a great relationship with the drivers. I've gone down to drop off literally a lanyard to somebody and I've been stuck there for 25 minutes chatting away with drivers and all sorts. I thought I need to head back so I'm going to be late for the broadcast. And then I've just bumped into Jock Borthwick on the way back and had a chat with him. And I didn't want to be rude and be like, I've got to go because I've missed these lots so much. But yeah, now I'm on the move and we've got to crack on and get back to my commentary box because I am going to be late. Well, I'm not. I might be. I don't know. And Norbert Kish wins round 13 of the championship here at the Nürburgring. So we're all done for the first race of the weekend. Um, a few microphone issues in that one, unfortunately. Um, I connected my audio mixer quite late to my laptop um, and it defaulted on vMix to be picking up a different microphone, basically. There's two little buttons here on this mixer that determine whether the sound goes just to my headphones or to the actual main mix as such, which is like combining my voice and the desktop audio to then go back out as an output. And yeah, it seemed like I can't now hear myself in my headset while commentating at the same time, but I don't mind that so much. It just means that there's certain smaller noises that are here and I'm very conscious of them, but when I can't hear them, I don't know whether I can hear, no, whether I, whether any, anyone else can hear me making them or not. So it's a bit of a strange thing, but yeah, I'm just, I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist with not making weird noises or people hearing me breathe, or even just like when your lips are together and you make a noise, you know, I'd, I'd like to be a bit of a perfectionist over that. Anyway, it's really sunny out there. So my Ray-Bans are going on and I'm going to go out and have a great time because we've got like five hours till the next race. So let's go enjoy ourselves, shall we? It's unreal. It's absolutely rammed everywhere. It's always the same on Saturday. Saturday's always the busy day, but there's just people absolutely everywhere. It's so awesome. The atmosphere here is better than any other round we go to, I think. I'm going in that direction. Thank you. Busy motion. Wasn't it impossible? So Steve and I have hatched a plan. We've hatched a little plan. There's so many people. It's unbelievable. As some of you may know, England knocked the Dutch out of the Euros the other day. And Apollo have a lot of Dutch guests here this weekend. So what we're doing is coming to Mark Taylor's awning to get a giant England flag for Steve to then wear it. Oh, it's cable tied on. See, they don't mess about. It's cable tied like mad, Steve. This is what it's all about, though, isn't it? Don't we yeah. have a laugh doing all this? We have a great laugh doing this. This is why it's great to be I'm on sure site. they will appreciate it. Oh, they'll love it, yeah. Swan will love it. They will not be salty at all. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Trucks just come back as well. Oh, brilliant timing. <laughs> brilliant timing. Just as the truck's back. Fantastic barrel of laughs them all are. Just had a really good chat with some of the uh, the head guests from Apollo. Had a good chin work with them. And yeah, I'm just gonna head down to the rest of the paddock, see a few more people and enjoy the sunshine. It's absolutely beautiful. But you've got to poke a bit of fun at it every so often, haven't you? This 
is possibly one of the awnings that I want to see the most just down here in a second. The Rainbow Warrior of Robin Crota. And here he is. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? You good? Yeah, good, very yeah. yeah, fine. Yeah, well, good uh, weekend? Yeah, good weekend. I drove in 1.6 this morning in warm up, so that's a very good time for the trip. Actually, yeah. it's the best time ever. Nice. It's nice. Good stuff. Yeah, but uh, race one, of uh, this race, race two actually, mm. I started from pole position, so I'm quite a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm sure you'll do fine. Well, well, there are a lot of fast cars behind me. They are, they are faster. Very so scary. I have to um, <laughs> survive the Mercedes Arena and try and, and, and let's hope they kind of fight together yeah. behind me. Yeah, and then so they, I can pull yeah, yeah. away yeah, like, in away. like in a simulator. When, yeah, yeah. when nobody gets is going to me, yeah, yeah. he has to fight, uh, find a way through. <laughs> yeah. I really hope uh, something like that happened. But yeah. Fair play. Well, the, the cool thing is, is that I've commentated on Robin and, and this truck for two years in the simulator now, and it actually exists. <laughs> it's actually here. It's yes. so weird to see it in person. And we finally get to meet as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, 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 very nice, very nice. Yeah. But best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, I'm not sure if Jock's around, but I'm going to try and see if I can get a, a translator for him because he's an absolute star. I got shown yesterday footage of a crash at Zolder of when another truck went up the left rear wheel of this, hit the back of the cab and took the cab off the chassis. Unbelievable accident. And two weeks later, they got it sorted and back out on the circuit. So it's been great to see that they've got it all together. So I'm going to try and see if I can find Jock and have a chinwag with him. Okay, so unfortunately he wasn't there, but I did get to see Ty Greenwood, which is always good to see. He's a good mate of mine. He's always uh, supporting me and my ventures. And back out into the sunshine. It's absolutely glorious now. I'm going to have to organise getting onto the Iveco Corso for a little bit later, but I'm really excited for that because it's been, what, two years since I last did that? Didn't do it last year, so that'll be really, really cool. I've found him! <laughs> I've got him! Oh, we're on... This is like Grand Theft Auto now, this. It's what? This is like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> got to see how many people you can run over. <laughs> Hi, mate, All right, mate. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Done some little adjustments here. Hopefully just... They help a little bit. You need a horn, you need me to go. <laughs> you're frightened to do too much because it's quick enough, eh? Or yeah, yeah. You, know, you're never yeah you, can't, you don't want to go too far the no. other way away from where it is. One or two maximum, one at a time, but I've changed a couple of things. Yeah. We'll try it. How's your leg been? All right, my yeah. leg's good. Yeah. Cracking on. Yeah, no, definitely. Good stuff, man. We had, had a really tough couple of weeks to knock the cab, clean up the thing. Yeah, sort of sold it. Hell. Hell, <laughs> what an accident so with, that was! With two weeks of torture, night and day, putting it back together. Parking up here. Hey, up now. Hey, up. Hey, up. Hey, up. Hey, hey, up. You having a drink? And obviously, you can't then go and revisit a Scottish team without coming away with an iron brew. <laughs> Look how absolutely rammed it is everywhere. Literally, people are moving. It's crazy. That was absolutely mad. It's like a crush around there. It's crazy. There's so many people. I said it earlier. There's such a huge turnout. There's such a great atmosphere because of it. We're flipping it. It's just endless. I think it goes without saying that the sun coming out really adds to the atmosphere of this. Like all the colour comes out and all of the bright vibrance of the paddock is here to see. It's just absolutely awesome. Really cool walking along here. Knowing as well that I work on this is pretty amazing. It really is. It's such a good feeling. Oh god, would you look at who it is? No. <laughs> 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 While I was stood chinwagging on the balcony with Andrea and Michael, we saw Frank go all the way down the other end. And I've been trying to find him for ages now because I need to organise when to meet him to get in the Aveco for the Corso thing. So <laughs> I've just seen him bolt down this way. So I'm going to try and chase him down now and then finally have a chat with him. We've got a BMW drift car coming through here actually, which looks quite cool. Have a at this. been at the Nürburgring you just see awesome stuff all the time. I'm actually gonna get some lunch while I'm in here as well so kill two birds with one stone and all that. Let's go!
<laughs> Unfortunately, it's not always plain sailing. And there's been a bit of a pile up in the Dutch truck race, but apparently everyone's okay. So that's the main thing. But trucks can be replaced. So it's time for another paddock walk because you can never have too many paddock walks. So we're going to go on another one then after food. standing on top of a tanker at any point today to be honest with you but here we are there's me <laughs> GT Masters is on at the moment, they're doing a barrier repair down here because somebody, you can probably see the marks, it's gone straight across and into the barrier down there. So they're holding all the cars on the grid again and then they're going to get the race underway so we'll probably just end up watching it from up here but there's so many people now, look at all of them down the road down here. There's absolutely hundreds of people, it's so cool. Come on Frank, it's on green, go. What are you doing Frank, go. Sorry about that, the GoPro battery died just before the race started, but luckily I got some footage on my phone, so take a look at these. And it was a fantastic time watching GT Masters, it's still going on at the minute, I've been to get my other battery. I'm going to go on the Aveco call so soon be frank, but there's been a delay because they put it in the barrier and so on, here's Zorni. <laughs> thought he was going to have a go at me. Oh, we've got Christina as well. You all good? How's your day going? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, I just enjoyed the GT cars a minute ago. So good. But because of our delay, we've, got, we've delayed the Corso as well. I'm going out with Frank in the Aveco. I was just telling them. Here's my ride. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. Here we go. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> that was so lucky.
Yeah, that might not have made for the best footage at the end there, but there was a bit of a weird situation going on where there was a guy from the FIA that wanted to come in. Um, and then I didn't know whether I had to get out for him to come in or whether I was just going to sit on the bed in the back or what. And then Barbara was going to come and speak to Frank and they were waiting for something over the radio. So it was all a bit of a, a scrambled communication. But anyway, I'm rushing back now. I need to get back into my OB truck, get in position and then commentate on race two of the weekend for the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. And it looks like she's going to get the job done here. She's unchallenged. Jochen's not close enough to make this stick. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the first time I've said this as commentator for the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. But it's a very popular win indeed here at the Nürburgring. Put your hands together because Steffi Halm wins at the Nürburgring here at the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix. Right, that's me done for the two races today done with the broadcasts everything's all finished up so now i've got to head down to wherever to go and find out what we're doing tonight uh, go and stop is on shortly though so i'm going to try and make an appearance there so let's head down that way so the difference with go and stop today is that it's the race trucks going out instead of the sort of road trucks so they take the front bumpers off a lot of the race trucks and they have them going head to head with each other to go and play go and stop so i'm going to try and head down to where i was yesterday to get in amongst it First, I might go and see Steffi Hall. Okay, I can't see Steffi anywhere, so I'm just going to head down to go and stop now and see what EB and Jörg make of this, because there's a lot more people down there today, because this is the drivers from the Middle Rand Cup taking part in this. I think Clemens Hecker is doing it from our championship, but I think it depends on how long they had between our race just finishing and this starting, so we'll have a look. Right then, we've got a bit of sunshine. We've got a great crowd. There is a massive crowd compared to yesterday. There's so many people. EB hasn't noticed me yet. He's, uh, can't see him. Oh, he's by the van actually, at the far end. Cheers, how are you? Good, mate, you? Good to see you. All good? Much better. Which was the last time that you... Oh, just a minute. Yes, yeah, I'm Chess Strikeout here. Chess. Big crowd on the Sunday yeah. evening. Yeah. Just out is there, just the track out is there, actually live, coming out of the, the streaming. Just yesterday, rain, cats and dogs, yesterday evening. Oh, but I was today, wearing shorts. But today we are dry. Yeah. Uh, we had the uh, Steffi in the front position in the first race. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your, uh, your point of view on the expression? When, when Steffi won the last race before in your book? I was going to say, she hasn't won a race while I've been commentating, so it's been nearly four years. So I'm sure you'll all agree. It was great to see Steffi take a win, wasn't it? Nobody heard me. I think he's trying to say what I said. Just now we have uh, the semi-final from the amateurs. Yes. And then we have the profit. You have seen the accident with the trucks from the That was close. That was close, man. Wow. I bloody love going stop. So because of the weather yesterday, I think they stopped with the amateurs in the road trucks. So they've just done the semi-final of that, then they're going to do the final, then the trophies and so on. So I think then we're going to get the race trucks and everything out after that. That's when we'll have all the trucks in the middle rank up and so on to go and complete their runs, basically. This is the final now for the amateurs. This is going to be, there's going to be a big cheer here. This is going to be really good. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to go. Fortunately, it's for beer. So the director of the championship asks you to go for a bit. You don't say no, do you? Fortunately, beer is only up there while everybody else watches go and stop. I don't think I've ever seen such an ominous cloud. Look at these. 
these cretins. Hey! <laughs> you alright? What a view! A go and stop. Perfect spot. Yeah, this is the best spot. Hang it over here. <laughs> Heads. <laughs> I never knew this angle of go and stop would be that cool. So we've arrived at the Mullenbach Schleifer. I absolutely love this place, there's trucks everywhere. There's sirens, there's beacons, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm already a little bit half cut and it's amazing. But my GoPro battery is going to die pretty soon. I'm really sorry, I put a fresh one in about half an hour ago. But I'll film it all on my phone if I can. And we're going to have a great time. Because why not? Because we're at the Nürburgring for the Truck Grand Prix. It's the best thing. Somebody, somebody! <laughs> what a vibe! What a vibe! The GoPro's gonna die now, so I'll move over to filming on my phone for a bit. It might not be as good, but I'm gonna enjoy my night at the Mullenbach Life. Love you. We're to watch the fireworks now. Oh god, sorry. We're off to watch the fireworks with George, Andrea and a beer. And this is a lot harder to do on a phone than with a GoPro, I can tell you that for free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go and stand on the Union Jack to watch the fireworks and everything. Good morning everyone, welcome to the final day of action here at the Nürburgring for the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. I am knackered. <laughs> it was a long night last night, it was a very good one. I've got a bit of a sore head as you can imagine, but it was fantastic fun and it was just amazing to be back down at the Mullenbach Schleifer and see that fireworks display. This is the room that Andrea and I have been sharing. I just wanted to show you why it's got a very, very cool view out here on the balcony. I do, however, have to go and do some work. This is only warm up at the moment, so I don't need to qualify on that. But we've got qualifying soon, and I do need to qualify on that. Qualify? Commentate on that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm needed soon, so I've got to get going. But I just thought I'd give you a little update. Let's crack on. I tell you, if not anything else, it's a beautiful morning. It's nice and, well, I was going to say clear, but it's just cloudy over there. It's cool in the air, but it's not completely freezing, if that makes sense. It's not very windy either at the moment. It's usually really windy here at the Nürburgring, so we'll have to see how the wind picks up over the course of the day and affects the weather. But I'm feeling this so far. I'm in shorts again today. I've got the geese out, so I need to show them off for the final day of the weekend, I suppose. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to today. Sunday's always a great way to wrap it all up. And I bumped into Till from Jock and Hans' team and managed to get a lift on a golf buggy. What more could you want? How's your weekend been? Oh, it's great. Like, first of all, uh, Steffi got the overall win, uh, yeah, win yeah. yesterday. That was so cool. Jochen P2, Lucas was a little bit more in the back, but the first race was great as well. Yeah. We're looking forward to today, to, to today. Uh, and the whole social media game is going really great for us, so we yeah. could uh, push some more content. content. Take care, Even like the e-truck driving for the first time in front yeah. of the crowd is great. So these guys do an amazing job of Jochen Hans Media. It's all so well polished and it looks absolutely beautiful. Thank if you, you very much. If you don't already go and follow him on social media, because everything these guys do is just so top draw, it's absolutely awesome. So let's have a good day. Thank you.
Norbert Kish then takes pole position once again here at the Nürburgring. He's ahead of Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz. One, two, and three. P123 once more. And that is qualifying done. And to be fair, when you've got to switch your mind on that quickly to uh, to get working with, I'm not going to say this much of a hangover. I'm more tired than anything. I didn't really get um, that tipsy. But yeah, it certainly wakes you up. And now I'm back out in the fresh air, in the sunshine. It's absolutely amazing conditions once again at the Nürburgring. I absolutely love it here. This is proper, proper good vibes. Um, just handed over to Brian Oliver. It's great to see Brian. He's doing ADAC GT Masters again this weekend. We literally had 20 seconds to switch over before he went live. So I just ripped my laptop off the desk, lobbed it in the corner, and he's got his laptop out and connected to the call and all sorts. So he's now on air. But yeah, back out in the paddock, enjoying myself. And I'm going to go speak to some drivers. Let's go have some fun. We are a little bit better. Let's get it. Ha jó van, úgy füstöl, mint a gyárkémény, Geci. Konkrét visszajátszás van a tévében róla, hogy hogy füstöl. Not a word. Most az Antonio kizárják füstölését. Not a word. I need a translator. Füstöl, miközben a visszajátszás volt, van lassítva. He's saying, why is this English guy stood here listening to us? Just had a great chat with Norby and Chaba. Always great to catch up with those guys. I haven't seen them much over the course of the weekend, actually, but it's always a lovely, lovely gym work with those guys. They do such an incredible job in this championship, but they're always so humble about it as well. It's lovely to see. Look at this thing. Oh, wait, be on the vlog. <laughs> They've wanted to be on the vlog all weekend, bless them. And obviously we did a little interview thing with Go and Stop the other day. So I thought in, in passing, why not give them a wave? So I just finally caught up with Steffi after her win yesterday. She's a little bit disappointed in the truck. She said it was really difficult yesterday because they've struggled with the setup all weekend. They just can't quite get it right. She's qualified 10th for today as well, so not usually a position that we see her in. So obviously we'll keep our fingers crossed for her that the first race goes better. But yeah, setup problems just been technical gremlins aren't really a thing for them this weekend. It's just they can't get the setup underneath the truck right. So she was really grateful for the window and we got a lovely selfie as you always have. And back to home, sweet home, back in the OB truck. Uh, Brian was here earlier, so my laptop and everything isn't on there at the moment. Ready to get set up for the first race of the day. The stream has come round very quickly and it is very warm outside. I need to find some sun cream before I go back out there. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, laptop, right, let's get on with it. Norby is really good on the brakes into here. Not sure whether he's going to go for a send for it. Look for him to go to the outside. He does go for the inside line, puts his nose down the inside, onto the curb he goes. There's a bit of contact, they're going to run wide with it. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Great to see. Lovely, lovely stuff. So you waited until the last second. Are you a patient guy? Um, yeah, I mean, I have to be. Mistake, mistake. Tell him. <laughs> First, you know, it wasn't from make the start. A mistake. So that's race one of the day complete. A very, very good race actually between Norby and Jochen. Norby made a bit of a poor start. Um, had an issue with the gearbox. It went into neutral basically. So he didn't get the jump off the line that he would have wanted. Uh, Jochen then had to defend for the whole race. Norby just about beat him to the line. But there was this amazing shot of Jochen congratulating Norby at the end. Really good banter. There was a bit of contact between them. And when that happens, you worry that tempers are going to flare. But it was great stuff. And they had really good banter in the uh, little shuttle afterwards as well. So that's what we love to see. Really, really good race. Great positive start to the day. We've got quite a while now. It's just about half past 12. And the next one is at 25 to 5, the next broadcast. So more time to go and enjoy myself. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear it on this footage, but obviously I wanted to show you just how beautiful it is out here at the moment. It's amazing. But at the same time, the Corso is going on around the circuit. It's just constant horns blaring everywhere you go. They are absolutely everywhere. All the way through the Mercedes-Benz Arena, around the hairpin at the end here as well. And then even down the start finish straight, there's just horns blaring everywhere. And also, how good is Coke out of a glass bottle? Oh. So just stop for a quick chat with Sasha and with Steve. And there's actually an autograph session going on now, so we're going to go and, uh, I was going to say sabotage that, but we're going to go and uh, commandeer it and see if we can have some fun. I, I, I didn't even have time to go back to the tent <laughs> to put this down. <laughs> I'll have it if you want. I'm here since the podium. <laughs> here. Right. <laughs> 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 That's all right. 
Are you watching Max, John? Yeah, probably not, so. Are you? Is that what you're going to Oh, well, just whatever. Not bothered. Oh, well, so we've got that. Look at the colossal scale of this event. It's absolutely nuts, isn't it? So Barbara and I have just been recording a bit of social media content with some of the uh, drivers, just doing like a, a quick fire question round. And as a bit of a, a thank you for coming along, I've had a beer from Luke. So hair of the dog and all that, best way to cure a hangover, more beer. And now it's already time for the final race of the weekend. I'm just getting my laptop and everything set back up. The countdown timer is on. And to be fair, I've just got back to my box last minute. Just had to go and give my hotel room key back quite early. I had to run all the way down the other end. Then I came back up this end. Me and Barbara did a few more interviews. So I went back down the other end. And now we're here and now I'm going to get logged in and set up. So yeah, let's have a good final race of the weekend here at the Nürburgring, shall we? And another amazing weekend here at the Nürburgring. I've been Chaz Draycott and I've been delighted to be here on site for this weekend, joined by Christina and the team. Don't forget, we'll be back in three weeks' time when we go to Most in August. Not even three weeks longer than that. It's going to come around mighty quickly, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching with us this weekend. Thank you to everybody that's been involved and for having me on site. It's been an absolute joy to be back with the championship again. And I'll hopefully speak to you all again very, very soon when we head to Most. We'll see you again. Oh god, I messed that outro up, didn't I? Jesus Christ, I wanted a really heartfelt thank you to everyone and I f***ed it. And that is me done for the weekend. That is all the work done here in the OB van, commentating on the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. It's a bit gloomy outside now actually, but it still feels like it's warm. I can feel the heat coming through from the window still. But what an amazing weekend. Some great racing, really popular wins. Antonio Albacetti got a win for the T-Spill Burnout, and uh, Steffi Helm took the win yesterday. Norby got two fantastic wins in races one and three. Highly entertaining, really, really good stuff. Absolutely loved it once again. And I'm really grateful to everyone for having me on site for this. I love doing what I do. Not sure what other shots there will be from the vlog at this point, because I'm going to get everything packed away here. I'm going to go meet HJ as well. So I'll probably do a shot with him because I love having him in my vlogs. He's an absolute star. And uh, yeah, I'm going to head up to uh, Dusseldorf tonight for a hotel near the airport. I've got a 4 a.m. shuttle in the morning before I catch my flight. I might even include some shots of the flight. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I hope you've had a fantastic time watching it. And I hope it gives a good insight into what I do and how much I enjoy what I do. I absolutely love my job and weekends like this are incredible. I get to do so many cool things, meet cool people, speak to drivers. You know, I've spent my life watching motorsport, wanting to meet racing drivers. And now, you know, I get pictures with them just because I, I walk around and they offer me a beer and they, they always say, come on and, and, you know, come on in the uh, the awning, whatever, take whatever you need. You know, we'll look after you. And it's just, it's a dream come true. Absolute dream come true. I go on about it a lot, but it's because it means a lot to me. It really does. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this. And it might not even be the end of the vlog. So maybe see you in a sec, maybe not. Thanks for watching.